I thought, yeah, we have two different map um, type of components. One was for the background. What uh, template do we have here? Let me just double check here. I just wanted to see blacktop down. I just want to see if you're still using it here. <coughs> down in the, as the background of this area right here was sort of one and then the, the other is actually in the contact page itself uh, where's our contact page let me see here um, right over here we've got the map as well now the map on this one here uh, actually just uses a longitude and latitude um, and I hope that we have the right instruction now the um, tutorials page here I just want to make sure what the video says here. Update the do company name, update the map in the background, see maps. Okay, just wanted to see what I said there. Um, there's the maps there, and all you really need to do is change the longitude and the latitude. Um, and that's it, because they're both used as background maps in the page. So basically, what we would do here is fire up uh, Google, uh, or actually any search engine and type in uh, uh, long and lat so the first thing comes up is longitude and latitude like so and then you just type in longitude this lat long dot net to get map court type the name of wherever you want and it will spit out the uh, find and then this number here goes right here that's the first one and the second number right here including the negative right or the minus goes right over here boom and now you've just updated the Google Maps okay um, for your pages there okay so the button at the top of the page okay it's actually called the off canvas menu and you go into your library and your shared and menu off canvas right there and that is the one that comes up when you Press the little thing on the uh, top right hand. I'll just open it up here. Uh, open up a page. This guy right here. That is the off canvas menu right there. Okay. And um, hopefully that has that one there. Okay. This one here. Yeah. That's moved. So the page is moved out of the pages folder into this one here. And the links just haven't updated to follow it along. And you'll just need to do that manually. And I'll show you how. So we go into our pages folder here. Okay, so here's the um, there's the gallery right there. So let's say you drag this puppy up here and in, and it updates like so. See how it updates the links? I'm just going to let it run through its update there for a second, and then I'm going to uh, uh, let's put it on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this page here. Uh, there it is, right there. Okay, and this is something I'm going to add to the instructions here because I just realized it doesn't, uh, because we're using a data attribute for the uh, larger image, it works great in a subfolder, but when you move it, it doesn't automatically update. Um, and I didn't test it in the main folder, but just go into your gallery LBI, and right here under the data large description, just get rid of the dot dot slash for each of these, so it, uh, you're going to have to manually update the links so that the larger image that shows at the bottom actually will work from a root folder uh, instead of the subfolder for pages and that's all you got to do sorry I didn't have that in the instructions I didn't actually uh, test that page in the root folder so uh, now we know why